Hello everybody. My name is Dr. Saikat Kanjilal. I am an interventional cardiologist at Manipal Hospital, Sarjapur Road. Recently, there have been a lot of reports of people dying after a sudden cardiac arrest. In fact, recently we have seen in news that more than 1000 people have died in Gujarat after a sudden cardiac arrest. So I thought I should discuss this topic because a lot of questions are asked by patients and others regarding sudden cardiac arrest. Now sudden cardiac arrest is a life-threatening condition where the heart stops beating suddenly. This is a medical emergency which if not treated immediately the patient dies because the blood supply to the entire body is suddenly cut off. Now if a patient survives sudden cardiac arrest it is called cardiac arrest and if the patient succumbs to this it is called a sudden cardiac death. Now the heart we all know is a muscle pump. Within this are specialized electrical uh, network of muscle fibers which allows the heart to beat rhythmically. In sudden cardiac arrest there is a problem in this elaborate electrical network leading to abnormal heart rhythms. The commonly prevalent heart rhythms in sudden cardiac arrest are ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia degenerating into ventricular fibrillation. This leads to irregular fast beating of the lower chambers of the heart called ventricles, thereby not allowing adequate blood supply to the rest of the body. Very rarely, sudden cardiac arrest can also happen due to slow heart rhythms like bradycardia and asystole. Many a times people ask whether there are any symptoms of sudden cardiac arrest. One would imagine that there wouldn't be any such symptoms, but it is known that up to 50% of people with sudden cardiac arrest have symptoms in the preceding hours or days before sudden cardiac arrest. These symptoms could be chest pain, breathing difficulty, feeling tired and weak, a sensation of palpitations and irregular heart beating. Now, because these symptoms are very non-specific, they may not help preventing an episode of sudden cardiac arrest. When a patient suffers a sudden cardiac arrest though, he or she will lose consciousness and unless treated immediately, will succumb and die. Sudden cardiac arrest is diagnosed clinically, but tests can be done to look at antecedent events which can lead to sudden cardiac arrest. And these tests could be an ECG, echocardiogram, blood tests, and further imaging modalities like MRI and CT as indicated. Sudden cardiac arrest is more common in people who have underlying heart disease and these risk factors are similar to other patients with heart disease and they are obesity, lack of physical exercise, type 2 diabetes mellitus, hypertension, smoking and sleep disordered breathing like obstructive sleep apnea syndrome amongst others. A heart attack previous history of a sudden cardiac arrest, a family history of sudden cardiac arrest in other family members, electrical disorders, genetic disorders that lead to sudden cardiac arrest like the long QT syndrome or the Brugada syndrome, lung disorders like acute pulmonary embolism, electrocution are some of the reasons why a patient could suffer cardiac arrest. Now the important sudden cardiac arrest is to treat it as soon as possible. As soon as you diagnose see somebody with sudden cardiac arrest, the patient should be initiated on a CPR, which is the cardiopulmonary resuscitation, which is meant to compress the chest so that the body receives blood and oxygen. And the other modality is electrical cardioversion by defibrillation. A defibrillation is done with a device which gives an electric shock to the chest wall, thereby normalizing the abnormal heart rhythm. Sometimes doctors also reduce the core body temperature of a patient with cardiac arrest, which is called hypothermia. Apart from these, specific treatments for specific conditions like coronary angioplasty for a heart attack, thrombolysis for pulmonary embolism, etc. can be done for these patients. After the patient survives from a sudden cardiac arrest, usually many of the times the patient may be required to be implanted with an ICD, which is an implantable cardioverter defibrillator. This is an implanted device which defibrillates or gives electrical shock within the body if there is a detection of irregular heart beating. 
Now this depends particularly on the cause of the sudden cardiac arrest and how soon the patient was treated after the event because there could be permanent neurological damage if the treatment has been delayed. In conclusion, 90% of patients with sudden cardiac arrest usually die. This can be prevented if bystanders and people around a patient suffering cardiac arrest are skilled and are aware of performing basic CPR so that they can save lives around. And the prevalence and presence of an AICD device, which is an automated ICD device, which can defibrillate a patient when they have a sudden cardiac arrest. These are the two modalities by which you can save lives. So awareness regarding this is paramount in saving lives around us. Thank you so much.